We have folks involved in this effort that span our value chain. Everything from pre-sale, where we have a customer that's interested in potentially doing business with the Hartford, on to the provision of booklets and bills. Process excellence is a way of making us think about root causes, bringing about transformational change as opposed to small incremental change that might um, not hold up. This has been a wide open door. We've all been really invited to come in with all of our ideas and not work towards a specific end, but work as a team to identify what the correct outcome will be. Well, that, and uh, in a lot of cases, I think we believe we know what our customers want, but we've never sat down to ask them what that is. So it's been very impactful. I think it's just amazing how we're really focused on the voice of the customer, whether that would be an internal customer, an external customer, and that we're really trying to delve into the root cause of mm -hmm. you know what are our pain points and why are they there and what we can do to make employees um, lives easier or customers experience better. The empowerment that our leadership team has given us. We have freedom to reshape this process any way that makes sense for the customer. So part of that empowerment is just simply, what would you need tomorrow to be better than today? Instead of starting with a process map from one functional area, we've started talking about voice of customer, what's important to the customer. Group benefits as a culture, we tend to think of ourselves as a very scrappy organization. We come at some of these problems using that scrappiness and this this idea that maybe we won't be able to get everything that we want, but because we've got great leadership, we're able to open our minds and expand on you know, what we think we really need and the re recommendations we need to provide with our leaders. The best part is everybody's checked their ego at the door. We've had difficult conversations, we've had fun conversations. It's really been a group effort. The, the functional hats have come right off. Um, the silos, the walls are breaking down. We're all very open and honest with each other in this environment. There's no worry of any type of judgment saying that something doesn't function so that we can achieve a successful result. We also have really great uh, leadership and sponsorship support for this project and just the fact that we have a team of people dedicated, you know, 75 to 100 percent of their time is, is great. Success for this will be a complete change in our culture and our organization and how we operate in group benefits. If we go back at the end of this to our leaders and we say, okay, so this used to take us 100 days and now it takes us 98 days. That's not success. We are not looking at shaving off 2% or 2 days or 10 minutes, but we're looking at making it a more satisfying experience for our customers and a more satisfying experience for the employees. Making sure that the ideas that are developed throughout this process don't sit, that action is taken, and really holding ourselves accountable. But we really feel like we can optimize customer acquisition in a way that reduces customer rework, reduces internal rework, and promotes employee engagement across all of group benefits. But it's also about innovation. It's about creating a culture where we have innovation as the cornerstone for delivering customer value.